Hey guys, so in today's video, it's gonna be a short one. I just wanna share a diagram designed by Visual Capitalist. And what these guys do is, they specialize in interpreting world economics into diagrams. And what I love about these diagrams is that it communicates very differently to just text and numbers. And what you can do is you can extract a lot of interesting ideas and even more ideas and also see things in different angles. Anyway, with that said, let's check out this diagram by Visual Capitalist. So let's kick off and have a look at the diagram together. So as the name suggests, this is the top 100 biggest companies in the world by market cap. And for those people that don't know what market cap is, it's basically the share price multiplied by the number of shares in that company. The second thing I want to make note is that this diagram is based on information back in March of 2021. So just be aware that things have changed since. And if there's anyone from Visual Capitalist that is watching this video, I have a great idea. Why not make this diagram with live information so that it's constantly updating daily and that would make this very, very useful. Okay, so the next thing is how do we read the diagram? So there's four points I need to make. The first point is that the business sectors, they are separated by colors. The second point is that the companies, they're grouped by countries. The third point is that each company is represented by a ball. Final point is that the bigger the company is, the bigger the ball, and the ball is also closer to the middle of the diagram. So the inverse is true, the smaller the company, the smaller the ball, and it's also further out. Finally, I want to talk about what this diagram showed for me. Now, I know that there's more ideas out there, but for me, three main things popped up. The first one is how much US dominates in terms of having the biggest companies in the world, which also means they have the biggest stock market in the world. Now, look at China. Although they are very much smaller in comparison, they are still clearly second. And that kind of relates to my other video, Never Invest in China, where I look at the growth of Chinese stock markets in the last 20 years. So if you haven't watched that, please check it out. The second point I wanna make is that certain countries are defined by certain sectors. Have a look at France with L'Oreal and LVMH. You've got South Korea, which is defined by Samsung. Taiwan, defined by TSMC, their semiconductor company. And also Saudi Arabia, biggest oil company in the world. The third point I wanna make is how much technology dominates the current world. Have a look at what the biggest companies in the world right now are. You've got Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Facebook, Tencent, TSMC. I would argue that Alibaba, Amazon and Tesla are also tech companies. Okay, so thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked the diagram or my video. And if you did, give me a like and subscribe. Now, I know that this video is shorter than usual. And as you can tell from my voice, I've been sick this week. Anyway, I'm getting better now. So in the coming weeks, I'm gonna be making the longer videos. Anyway, with that said, have a good week and I'll see you in the next video.